In this video we're going to build a non-working 3 to 1 back tie and this is going to allow us to use this garden post which as we can see is very unstable as the anchor point for our roping system. The anchor point at the healthy tree has already been set up and before we start I wanted to have a quick look at that because it's slightly different from anything we've seen in previous videos. As we can see, in building this anchor point we've used no equipment other than the rope and this can be very useful if we're low on equipment or if we need to travel a long way to get to our site. This is by no means the best technique for creating an anchor point from nothing but a rope but it's one of the simplest, requiring two knots that we should already be very familiar with. To start with we have a re-threaded figure of eight knot that attaches the rope directly to the tree. Immediately below the figure of eight is a simple alpine butterfly giving us a loop that we can use as our attachment point for this anchor. So our non-working three to one is going to be attached to this carabiner. Firstly I'm going to take the orange sling. So I've got two lengths of 25 millimeter tube tape here and before starting I've formed them both into loops. The orange sling is going to be our master attachment point for our anchor. So I'm just going to use a basket attachment looping the sling around our garden pole. This then is the master point for our system. I'll use the purple sling to create my back tie. It's important that our back tie not only wrap around our marginal or insecure anchor point but that it also be threaded through the sling or whatever it happens to be that creates our attachment point. So as you can see I'm threading the purple sling both around the pole and through the orange sling. Make sure the tape knot is not fouling up the anchor point. Clip it in and we're good to go. So you can see how the purple sling has threaded through the orange sling there. Now I'm going to create my non-working three to one. I'll attach one end of the rope with a figure of eight to the carabiner. This will come back to my strong anchor point. Just loop through a carabiner there. Again, forward to our back tie, looping around again. So here we have our non-working three to one. As we said before, I want to tension it. Now a great technique for tensioning it, particularly if we need to apply a lot of tension, is to use a round turn at the carabiner. This will generally add enough friction to allow us to hold the tension on the ropes while we're securing the tail of the rope so that we don't lose tension. So I'm going to pull up on the load strand and down on the tail, one in each hand, applying some tension. I don't want to apply too much tension because our pole is embedded about five centimeters into the ground. We'll call that sufficient tension and now obviously I need to lock this off so that it stays in place. To lock it off I can use any appropriate technique whether that be a clove hitch, a winter hitch or a round turn and two half hitches. Because I've used a round turn to help me tension it I'm going to use a round turn to tie it off. A great technique to avoid losing tension in the system here is to place one finger on the round turn at the carabiner as we tie our first half hitch. So there we have our tensioned non-working three to one attached to our back tie. Let's load it up and see how it goes. As you can see there's significantly more load on the purple sling than on the insecure anchor point itself and in fact I had absolutely no movement when the anchor point popped out of the ground. 